All right, so in this problem, we're going to solve the following. The question is as follows. How many sodium ions are contained in 4.62 grams of trisodium phosphate? Now, basically, what we're going to do for this problem is convert the number of grams of sodium phosphate into moles, and then from moles into number of atoms, or ions in this case. And, uh, yeah, so... So let's do that. So we want to convert the number of grams of sodium phosphate into number of moles. Obviously, we do that via its molecular weight. Since we weren't given the molecular weight in the problem, we're going to have to do it manually. So if you consult the periodic table, you just rem uh, remember this. You know that the um, that sodium has a molecular weight of 23 grams per mole. Phosphorus has 31 grams per mole, and oxygen has a molecular weight of 16 of grams per mole. So basically what you do is just sum this up. So let's do this really quick. So we know that there are, in trisodium phosphate, there are three sodium atoms. So we have three times 23 grams per mole, plus uh, we have one phosphorus, so that's 31 grams per mole, plus, well we have four oxygen, so that's four times 16. Right, and so that's going to give us a molecular weight of. I mean, you could just look this up, but uh, it's good. It's good practice just to do this uh, this way. So we have three times twenty-three plus thirty-one plus four times sixteen is one hundred and sixty-four. Right, so the molecular weight of trisodium phosphate is one hundred and sixty-four grams per mole. Right. Meaning that if I had um, 164 grams of this, I have exactly one mole of uh, trisodium phosphate, right? So now we know the number of, or at least we know the molecular weight, so let's convert the uh, number of grams into the number of moles, right? So we know that, let's pick a different color here. So we know that we have 4.62 uh, grams of sodium trisodium phosphate, right, and we're going to, now we know the molecular weight, so we can use that, right, so we know for one mole of trisodium phosphate, there is 164 grams, right, so we multiply this, the grams cancel out, and we're left with moles, right, so we get uh, 4.62 divided by 164, is 0 0.028, 0 0.028. Now this is moles of trisodium phosphate, right? So now here's here's the kicker, as they say. We know that for every, for one atom, or not one atom, one molecule of trisodium phosphate, we have three sodium ions, right? So, for, so basically what we would do is we multiply this by by 3, right? So we can write this as, as the following. So we know that there are 3 moles of sodium ions for every mole of sodium phosphate. Try sodium phosphate, right? So basically what you do is you're basically just multiplying this by 3, but it's easier... It's a lot easier to see if you write it out like that. So multiply this by three, and we get that, whoops, we get that there are approximately 0 0.085, let's say, moles of sodium ions, right? So now we need to find out how many sodium ions and not right not, not the number of moles of sodium ions so we use the uh, we use Avogadro's number right so we know that there are uh, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd uh, ions in this case for every one mole of sodium ions right so what happens is the uh, number of moles cancels out and we're left with the number of ions, right? So we multiply this times uh, 6.022 times 
times 10 to the 23rd and we get according to my calculator that there are 5.0 5.09 times 10 to the, what's it, 10, to the 22nd ions of sodium. All right, so this was a really simple problem. Um, it just basically converting, uh, you know, grams to moles, and then from minimum moles of uh, trisodium phosphate to the minimum moles of sodium ions. And then from the moles of sodium, sodium ions via Avogadro's number to the number of moles of ions, right? So hopefully this helped, and we will see you all in the next video.